I swear, I wasn't quite sure how to do it, so I wrote a poem. All right. Okay, this close? All right. All right. Once upon a time, a miracle happened on the 33 line. However, our story begins a bit before, on a day that was much more of a bore. I had just moved to the Bay because of a breakup that was just plain cray. <laughs> Trying to acclimate to the city, I sat in my kitchen reading the best of SF Weekly. Suddenly I saw a photo of a beautiful woman in my hand. She was voted SF's best one woman band. <laughs> I stared at her photo, but quickly realized that finding her would be a no-go. <laughs> The next Friday night, with the Lexington bar in sight, my friends and I boarded the 33, excited at the prospects of finding a party. Not knowing this was going to be a momentous ride, I almost didn't notice when the one-woman band slash mime stepped inside. However, the drums on her back and her cute bowler hat, along with her inability to pay the fare, finally <laughs> caused me to stare. <laughs> Realizing my first run-in with luck, I sat there really fucking awestruck. Not sure what to say or how to act, I whispered about her to my friends and left it at that. Unknown to me, Masa, our one-woman band, had seen me and was quite a fan. Getting off the bus at my stop, I looked over my shoulder and fixed my coat because the night had become colder. But do not fear, my friends, for this is not the end. Really only the beginning of a tale which needs no spinning. With thoughts of yours truly on her mind, Masa realized, hey, that hot girl left her wallet behind. <laughs> Snatching it up, Masa thought there could be an opportunity to see what kind of woman the wallet's owner would be. Obviously realizing my mistake, I went home early that night to figure out my wallet's fate. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is where we had to wait because I had stopped using Facebook as a way to communicate. <laughs> a few weeks went by with not so much as a second thought, and new bank cards and a driver's license had all been bought. Then one day, after my work on the hate, I thought, nah, I'll go on Facebook, it'll be great. And what waited, for, what waited to me there, to my surprise, was a friend request from the mime with the big, beautiful eyes. <laughs> My mind screamed with joy. How can this be? Then my senses chimed in. She must have your wallet, can't you see? <laughs> the very next day, I tried to give Masa a call and say, thanks for trying to return the wallet and all. Not hearing back by the end of the day, I lost hope that things with Masa might go my way. Preparing to go out that night, trying to look fine, I got off work and promptly drank two bottles of wine. <laughs> Meanwhile, just down the street, Masa was waiting for the 33 with her beat feet. And this, you guys, was the best luck of all. My roommate was at the same bus stop and gave me a call. Recognizing Masa, he said, Hey you, one woman band, you have my roommate's wallet and she's a real big fan. <laughs> the two got on the same bus and he said, She would love to meet you if you're not in a rush. I was at home wondering why my roommate had told me to wait when he and Masa Mateen walked up to our gate. I, of course, was super surprised to be in the presence of this mime with the big eyes. Then Masa calmly explained how she had used my money, cut up my cards, and given the physical wallet away. <laughs> something else for you instead. And it goes a little something like this. BJ, is this on? Woo!
and we're still here. Thank you for our time listening to our story about the 33 line. Woo!